Hi everyone, it's me, Melanie, your IVF nurse, and what I'm going to be reviewing today is HCG injections, so your trigger shot. So your HCG is going to look like this, okay, and when you open the box, it's going to be a powder vial, which will be white, and then you'll also have a vial of sterile diluent or sterile water. You'll also have a medication insert in it as well for you to review if you wanted to read. What you're going to do is flip off these caps and they literally just flip off like that. You're going to take an alcohol swab and you're just going to clean the top so it's just good practice. And then you should be, if you're mixing your own HCG, you should be getting syringes that look like this needles for the actual injection, and alcohol swabs. Open your package just like that. And then you're going to, with a large needle, you're going to take out your sterile water. Now, if you are mixing with 10,000 units, what you're going to do is turn this upside down, have the needle in the liquid on the syringe. Pull that off. The extra liquid you could throw away. And then you're going to, with the same large needle, and your one cc of diluent, go in and inject the water. It doesn't dissolve right away, it may take a little bit, but you wanna make sure that is clear. Okay, once it's clear, you're then going to take out everything from the vial. So 10,000 units, everything from the vial, you've got the large needle on, and then what you're going to do, you're going to recap by doing this, so you're minimizing the chance for needle stick injury as such. And then you're going to take off this big needle and put on a small needle, so 27 gauge half an inch needle, which looks like this. And then you're just going to push up to remove any air until you see a bubble at the tip, and then you're ready for the shot. Those of you that are triggering with 5,000 units of HCG, what you're going to do is take your box of HCG, same thing, you're going to just flip these caps off so you have your powder vial and then your sterile diluent or your sterile water. Caps flip off. You're taking your syringe with your large needle for mixing. You're going to open that up. Take your alcohol swab, clean the tops of the vials, just good practice. And then what you're going to do is using the large needle on this syringe, you're going to go into your diluent or your sterile water, turn it upside down. So if you're triggering with 5,000 units, what you need to do is pull out the two cc's of diluent Okay, the extra water you can toss. You're going to take your two cc's of your sterile diluent or sterile water, inject it into the rubber stopper, let it dissolve. And usually I spin it just to kind of help speed the process, but it really doesn't take that long. You're looking at maybe 10 to 15 seconds at most. Just make sure it's completely clear. And then if you're triggering with 5,000 units, this vial is 10,000 units of HCG and we've injected two cc's of sterile diluent. So what you're going to do is make sure your needle is in the liquid and you're going to withdraw one cc. One cc is equivalent to the 5,000 units that you need. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna take that off, the extra, the other remaining 5,000 you don't need. And then you're going to remove this needle here by taking your cap and same thing where you just want to minimize poking yourself so recap that way unscrew and then you're going to put the small needle on for the actual injection removing any air bubbles and then that's your 5,000 units of HCG okay and then doing your shot as per your instructions in the time that has been identified to you, outlined by your nurses or your nurse coordinator at the clinic, as this is important. It's timed for your egg retrieval. This should all be outlined in your instructions. 
what time to take the trigger shot and what time to um, be at the clinic for your egg retrieval and what time the egg retrieval is scheduled to start at, okay? If you are injecting subcutaneously, small needle, in the event you're with a clinic where the doctor wants you to inject with a large needle for an intramuscular injection, then you're using this size, so an inch and a half in length because you want it to go into the muscle. Now, for those of you that are doing, say, a dual trigger with Lupron and HCG, your dose of HCG is not going to be 10,000 units. It's probably not even going to be 5,000 units. Um, usually the dose could be something like 2,500 units of HCG or um, 1,500 units. So in that event, what your clinic will do, if you're triggering with, say, um, 2,500 units, you're going to follow the instructions as you would to dilute your vial of 10,000 units, which is gonna look like this, and it says 10,000 units on it. And what you can do as well is use the same big needle and syringe that you used for mixing it. And instead, if you're diluting with two cc's of diluent, you're only gonna take it down to the 0 0.5, and that will be your 2,500 units with the 3 ml syringe. Now, if you're doing, say, 1,500 units, because some clinics will have a 1,500 unit trigger when they're doing the dual trigger with Lupron, they may give you needles or syringes that have the needles attached to them that look like this. It's like an insulin syringe or a Lupron syringe. And basically what you want to do, you would pull it down to the 0.3, which is 30 on this syringe down here, and that would be your 1,500 units. If you're doing one of these syringes, and depending on the clinic you go to, you may end up with a syringe that looks like this, and you get the small needles for the injection that looks or comes in the packaging like this. And then what's going to happen is you open that up, screw on your small subcutaneous needle, clean the top with alcohol, going in through the rubber stopper, turning it upside down, and then your 1500 units is literally at the point three. Not sure if you can see that there, but you want it to be at the point three. And then you're taking this out and anything left over you do not need, you would toss. So you do want to pay strict attention to your HCG instructions because this is the shot of the cycle. It's the shot that's given for that final maturation which helps the eggs to detach from the follicle wall so that when the doctor goes in with the needle into the ovaries and is able to suction out the fluid that contains or that is housed in the follicles, it's going to be uh, also containing the egg. So the HCG shot is, like I said, the medication that is going to help kind of unstick the egg from the wall of the follicle. So that's your HCG. Now, in the event that you're triggered with Lupron, or if you're doing a dual trigger, some clinics will actually preload your Lupron in a syringe that looks like this, and you want to be doing that shot at the specified time as well, as noted earlier on in this video. So I do hope that you found this information very helpful with your trigger shot. Good luck. Please feel free to check out my website, www.yourivfnurse.com, or you can email me at yourivfnurse at gmail.com subscribe or comment down below. Thanks for watching.